Hey, how's it going out there, everybody? Sarasota Tim. I'm coming to you from beautiful Sarasota, Florida, on a gorgeous golf course here behind me. I was trying to create some good optics. Uh, this particular time in 2024, there is a tropical storm coming uh, that's kind of uh, going to brush right by here. It could hit here. Nobody knows. Those storms don't follow those spaghetti lines. They got a mind of their own. But to help with all the wind noise, because it is kind of breezy out here, I've got my mic here with a, uh, a wind sock on. So hopefully the video will be watchable and not have to deal with a bunch of wind noise. I know that is the worst thing. I mean, bad video is one thing, but bad audio is another. Today's video on my channel, Sarasota Tim, I invite you to go ahead and uh, click the subscribe button and give the video a thumbs up at the end of the video only if you like the video. Um, I am an eclectic channel and I make videos about my life, about my travels, about reviews, restaurants, cooking a steak. It doesn't matter. I just talk. And occasionally I even do a, a devotional video uh, because we don't hang our head around here. Uh, we do believe in God and we like to promote it. I like to promote it because uh, we need God back in our country more than uh, we have it in there now. But that's not what today's video is. Today's video is one of my favorite topics that made my channel the most popular, and that's about Social Security. And a lot of people say, you know, why would you need to make another video of Social Security? Well, why does McDonald's continually advertise? You got to advertise, and there's lots of people, they don't go back in my video log and look a year ago at my videos, while some may, and search for something and find it. Uh, we have to keep promoting the uh, fact that so many people may not be aware of. And what it is, what I like to talk about, about Social Security, is getting your Social Security. I'm an advocate of collecting it at the very earliest age you can, which is age 62. And a lot of people don't, don't even know they can collect Social Security at 62. They've heard about the age 65 uh, because they get their Medicare then. Or they've heard uh, if you do collect Social Security at whatever age you can get it, if you take it earlier than, you know, the full retirement age, you are penalized. So they hear all these key words and they get confused and they end up making the wrong decision and costing themselves tens of thousands of dollars. That's right, tens of thousands. And I'll explain to you in just a moment. But... Social Security, you are eligible to collect as early as age 62. And how you do it is you simply go online to the Social Security website, and you would want to do that actually three months before you turn 62. And here's why. You have to be 62 years old plus a month to get your Social Security. And to get it on time, which is... Uh, a month after that, so you're going to be 62 and two months old before you see the first dollar. I don't know why they make you uh, wait till you're 62 and 30 days, and I don't know why they make you wait another 30 days to see your first deposit uh, in your bank account. I used to say your first check, but of course they don't mail checks anymore. Uh, it'll be deposited into your bank account. But anyway, folks, three months before you turn 62, you need to apply in order to meet that timetable. So we're talking a five month period, three months before you turn 62, and then two months after you're 62 uh, to get your money. <laughs> so just remember, count the days down, 90 days before your birthday of 62, uh, you want to get it. And you don't want to think about it. You don't want to uh, decide, oh, well, I'll wait a little longer, get a little bit more money, because now we're going to talk about that and how the big scam. Well, believe it or not, my phone just blew over because of the tropical storm that's coming, and a wind gust just came and blew my phone over. And I was saying, because of the big scam and people promoting and leading you on that 
you will be penalized or get less money and you can get a lot more money if you wait and keep working and keep playing uh, the game and paying in uh, to the um, Social Security Administration your, your taxes and all that stuff and keep giving your life away. In my opinion, you should be able to retire at the age of 55 because the average age for a male in the United States is only 73 years old. It used to be 76. It's coming down. And so knowing that you're probably not going to live to be 100 years old, if you were to retire, if we could retire and collect Social Security at 55, you're already um, way beyond the halfway point of what you have left to live alive. And so at 73 being the average age, and yes, you can live to be 80 and 95 and these kinds of numbers, but have you ever seen someone that age? I live in South Florida. I see them every day. They're not running up and down the road. They're not uh, doing flips off the high dive. They're not surfing. I know that some can. You know what I mean? They're much older. Their motor skills, their faculties, their muscles, everything about them, the way they look, act, walk, and think uh, changes. And it changes exponentially uh, from like the age of 62. You really start to go downhill for the masses. So with that being said, if you're only going to live to around 73 and you can't collect Social Security until 62, 11 years of maybe being able to quit your job and hopefully if you find yourself debt free, which you have to be in order to even have a chance to live on Social Security, uh, plus you would need a, some kind of a side hustle, a part-time job to supplement your Social Security. It's never been meant to support anybody. It is to help you out and to afford you to quit working 40 and 50 hours a week. But let's go back to the age of 55. Since you're not going to live to be 100 and at 55 years old, you're already way, way past the halfway point of your life, most probably, then, you know, if you only make it to around 73 or so, I mean, come on, when do you want to check out of a job and start to live your life and to do and go and have and do what you want to do? And while I said a moment ago, you still have to work, you know, to supplement your Social Security. Well, that kind of a, a job would be something that you choose to do, that you're happy about doing. Uh, that may only be like 20 hours a week. Plus, it does keep you active and young uh, to, to be doing something. Uh, just sitting in, sitting in a chair, or not doing anything, or just taking walks every day, uh, I don't think that that's, you know, the, the most exciting life. But out golfing, traveling, uh, visiting uh, your relatives, uh, seeing our country, um, traveling around with an RV, flying different places, whatever you want to do, give yourself more time to do it. But if you worked until you were 67, which is the full retirement age, this, this number, this age they want you to go to uh, to get the maximum uh, check is a scam. And I'll tell you why. Because when you're 62 and you let that date just go right on by and you continue going to a prison job, working that uh, job, and you work there for five more years from 62 years old. And it, when you turn 55 years earlier, you're already way past your halfway point of less runway in front of you than you've got behind you. Now you want to stretch it out and go towards that end of that runway, even up to the almost to the finish line. And then you're going to quit and say, all right, start giving me my free money. I call it free money. I call it a free check. I know it isn't free. I know it's your money you paid into. These are just the way I talk and sayings that I have. But when you get your Social Security at 67 and you've got potentially a few years left to live, I mean, that's a joke. And they're hoping that you don't live. They're hoping they don't have to give you 15 years or 20 years of checks. Are you kidding? You're not paying into the system anymore. You're just taking out. They like to take it in, but they don't want to put it out. So anyway, at 62, when you're already got a lot less runway in front of you than you got behind you, because now you're past 55, another seven years, quit that prison job, get your Social Security, and start drawing. 
And here's the math. If you start drawing at 62 and you get what I get, $1,700 every month for the rest of your life, I love it. That $1,700 amounts to $102,000 that they will have given me before you draw your first check that's a little bit bigger seven, um, five years later. You're like, oh, no, no, I heard it's a penalty. I'm going to get that bigger check. I'm going to keep working. I'm going to keep giving all my life, my time, my best years, uh, my final years of my life to some prison job. And I'm going to get this $600 bigger check. Well, guess what? I've already collected $102,000. You get $600 more five years later. And now it's going to take you, I don't know, 12, 14 years of collecting to ever surpass what I'll be collecting alongside of you up to like 80 years old. And... When you're 67 and you start collecting in that first year, uh, you get 1,700 plus another 600. I've already collected 102,000 plus another 20 something thousand dollars uh, the year that you get full retirement age. So I'm already tens of thousands of dollars way, way, way ahead of you. And by you only getting 600 bucks more, even $700 more, you know how many months and years you're going to have to collect before you'll ever get back what you lost? I mean, isn't it a no-brainer? And you say, well, I could be working for those five years and making more than you are uh, collecting Social Security. Well, are you sure about that? Because like I said earlier, not only do I get the free check, my Social Security, but I can also work. And I can work two different ways. I can work as a W-2 person or I can work as a self-employed person of which will entitle me to a lot higher earnings because uh, I have deductions. And then your earnings are only affected uh, a couple of years between 62 and your full retirement age because you can make a lot of money the year you collect Social Security as long as you don't go over the earnings cap for the remainder of that year. So if your birthday is in the middle of the year when you start getting it at 62, whatever you've earned up until then will not affect you as long as you don't make any more than you're allotted to make each month after that for the remainder of that year. And then you just have to watch it for a few years uh, until you become full retirement age. The year, the year your birthday is going to be full retirement age, you're able to make, like today, the number is like $56,000 on top of your Social Security. Well, ladies and gentlemen, the average income is 30 grand. I think it's 35 or something like that. I see average income, if you divide every single person in this country, that's all that you make. But if you divide how much people make on average, if you take out all the, uh, I don't know, the low income earners, uh, their average income is in the 50s you know, maybe 55 or something like that. So, I mean, 55, if I'm making 20 something thousand and then um, I, can, I go out and I work a little bit, well then of course I'm making the same as someone that's working 40, 50 hours a week. So it makes no sense to continue um, working a prison job <clears throat> past the age of, of 62 years old. Get your free check. Now, finally, I'll end the video with what I always tell people, and it's the most important thing. The thing that we've been talking about the entire video. If the average age is 73 years old, average, I know people live longer. <clears throat> Excuse me, I'm losing my voice. Um, with, with that in mind, a lot of people, they wait until they're 67 and they die before they even uh, collect more than a year or two. Some people don't even reach 67. Some people haven't even reached 62. I mean, life is um, not promised to anybody. Tomorrow isn't promised to anyone. Today's the day that you want to live your life. And the day you can slow up on all the stress of having to go to a job and get a supplemental income called Social Security and then do a job that you want to do, something that you choose that isn't you know, stressful and cost you a lot of money also to go there. 40 or 50 hours a week, 
you know, and pay for lunches and uniforms, <clears throat> gasoline for your car, maintenance, and babysitting and uh, child care and all these different uh, things that go along with, that come out of your check uh, to, to do a job. And then they only want to pay, you know, not even a very good wage. So consider all that fact, and I would say I've never met more than three people in my entire life that have ever gone past the age of 62 years old to collect their Social Security. Everybody I meet, I got it at 62. I never regretted it. All my comments say it. And whatever pushback that I used to get, I get now um, a lot of people I see on YouTube advocating the same thing that I'm saying now. Because only these people that want you to keep investing your money with them, these, these financial counselors, and uh, the government, so you'll pay taxes. Those are the only ones that want you to keep working and keep paying in and investing into the stock market because they make money on you. That's why. But if you do the math, it's pretty simple. You know, if you collect $102,000 before the guy at 67 collects his first check, how many years does he have to live before he ever makes the money back by that $700 or $600 he's getting more before he gets back more and hopefully lives past that time than you got. So now you got it, you understand it, get out there, collect it, and crush it.